Kyrig's gonna get eliminated also. We're gonna drop down onto 18 as Cloak eliminates him. But the safe two zone members of TK going to fall all to the guns of GS. GS is looking on fire here, taking down three members. Now SCDX going to light up the board here, and that is going to be two members from that team, Memento and MMA. We're starting to see Astral get some kills on the board, but also dying as well. It could go either way. Cloak starting to he was starting to heat up, but gets cut down to size by STDX. Yeah. That is going oh, no, to be limits. bad for Dare, and you can see this fight is still going on between these two teams. Dare going to be able to pick up some kills inside of this gas. They are falling as well. This team just absolutely trading out. We're going to see STDX. I believe they only have three members left standing at this point. They're going to eliminate Team Dare, though. We are down to four. that bottom portion of your screen. Look at Rogue, look at Dare. Yeah, Rogue and TK basically with the stronger positioning right now, the least chance of engagement. TK obviously with much more room than Rogue has here, but Rogue can play into Dare. Who is in the position to start this first engagement? We're gonna start seeing the teams filter into the safe zone right now. At this point. Yeah, this is absolutely, there's so much look smoke is Dare, coming Dare, Soar, Kyrig's gonna go down to the gas here. Aladdin, all the guys from Dare just starting to make their way out, but they're going to be running right out into players of Europe's last hope. Rizar finally turning around to come back and help the team. Aladdin going to get pumped out on the ground. Cloak trying to find a safe spot, finds one right along the edge of the gas. Going to start healing. Beast trying to heal in the gas for Gangstars to keep them in as far as they can. Zeke on fire takes a nade from Sweet Dreams. Rogue drop takes out Memento. Sweet Dreams then takes out Cloak. Sweet Dreams goes down to Thugga and then Linden, it's just, this is going nuts, man. Fourth kill of the game on a jerk chicken. P90 drops Crumb, then gets picked up by Mountain FPS. Aladdin takes down Howie, and then dropped goes down to Doug is raw. <laughs> then we have Aladdin coming by. Doug is raw looking for an angle to get a shot. Not going to be able to find it as Aladdin dips into the gas in his vehicle. Going to peek out though here, getting some shots in, but he peeks out too far. Aladdin going to be able to get him in the back. We are down to two players. We are going to see Aladdin versus Gorani finishing out this first match. Aladdin already behind just above 50% health decides to throw a uh, toss out a throwable here onto Garani who's gonna play out of the smoke we'll see if Garani can find an angle here this is gonna be an odd fight just peak battles we should see a, th a few more throwables best throwable is gonna possibly win the game here we see that go out, no connection. Gorani dancing with these trees, but as you can see, the space has closed. Another one going to come out. Gorani going to try to move around it. Getting that peak fire, trying to get these shots in. Whoever wins this takes first place. Some shots, but no, no connection yet. That's going to be the helmet. Gorani going to take a shot as well. Another helmet inside his backpack. Going to throw that on immediately. Going to try to heal himself up. A little bit of patience here, though. The players running out of throwables. That's going to be another helmet that we see. This time it's off the head of Aladdin. Looks like he had another one to throw back onto his head. Gorani here has a helmet of his own. Moving around the trees, trying to close the space. We're going to see a connection. Down to 50% for Aladdin. Another one. Got to connect right there, but Gorani's helmet is off. They are back even in this. Maybe one extra shot into Aladdin. He may be up by one. Now closing the space. Oh. Aladdin going to go down. Garani going to take first place in this first game of the Grand Final. Give it up for him. And if you ask me if we were going to see either of those players in that final skirmish, I would not have guessed it. And they both look absolutely phenomenal. Some seriously good positioning and patience coming out of both of these players. Board here. As you can see, it's going to be Garani at the top of that scoreboard followed up by Aladdin and Doug is raw. Yeah, Doug.
Whoever gets first place overall, $100,000 on the line in total. Gabe's mind getting shut down a little bit early. We saw Aladdin really heat up in the last game, looking to do it here again. Yeah, Aladdin putting himself in a great position, making top 20 here again, guaranteed. We'll see what he can pull off, and he does have a hunting rifle, tries to throw a quick shot. The FPS up the hill behind him, jumps down, and is running. We'll see these players spot each other. That's exactly what I was talking about. Jerk Chicken able to take down Transpare. Now Die FPS looks to be in dire straits, and we are going to see that kill go to the way of Aladdin and had a major advantage. Die FPS and Monster falling together at about the same time. Transpair still moving forward. Again, she would find herself in a very good position. Solid placement coming out of P90 Princess. Howie still alive here. Gonna send home Aladdin. Yeah, definitely. Garani playing that first game and taking down game one, which does net him into second. But Aladdin, not that far behind. Only 7,000 points when we start talking about placement and then the big jumps between each placement point. That's not that far off. So Aladdin's still in great contention. game for prime time to take down that top spot. Sweet Dreams also still in this match. Both these players in top contention for first place overall. Aladdin here, as we see, is playing out of the smoke in the middle. Not a whole lot of cover in a rough spot. You can see his vehicle is smoking in the middle there. He can't go that far in it. This is a rough spot for Aladdin. If he gets eliminated, he's basically setting up Sweet Dreams to take it all down. Aladdin, this is oh. one of the players that can take the whole thing. We can see the smoke coming out. And just kill after kill in the kill feed. Radek, Gabesmon, and Blood Inferno all getting sent home. Now Aladdin is in a bad car and in a bad fight, but he's going to be able to send home a Dread from LG. And inside the gas, Tixi is back with the Cinderella story. He is going to send Aladdin home and... We'll have to see. I mean, we, we have a pretty clear idea who could be in the top three, and we're starting to see the players line up on the stage here. What was it like to be playing for so much money on the line? Nerve-wracking. Yeah, absolutely nerve-wracking. My heart's going fast. <laughs> I can imagine, man. Yeah. You were you were in those top, top 15, top 10 scenarios almost every game. Mm -hmm. Which one of those, those circles do you think was the absolute most heart-wrenching on you? What was the hardest one of those three games? Probably the second game that I played. It was when it was up in the mountains. I yep. had no idea what was going to go on. I had no idea about the terrain around it because you don't you don't commonly play there. Just recently, they changed the safe zones. Yeah, so we, we heard like that out of Drazzle as well. He was really talking about how difficult it is to play in those rings that because you don't you didn't see those rings before the changes that actually did come in. So that safe zone definitely giving a lot of players trouble in that second game. But is there a particular moment of the series that overall that sticks out to you, like the biggest moment coming out from these grand finals? The, just fives and everything and hey, we, and yeah I'm down to hear everything of course Aladdin getting to play in quite a lot of these games getting to watch them all at DreamHack uh, definitely it was when I two tap Kalsey it, when you actually did get that two tap yeah. in yeah that, that was definitely a big moment and really exciting to see yeah. what was your strategy going in as an overall did it did it alter does does the safe zone alter your strategy that much? Were you trying to slay out? Were you trying to play more of a very paced game? Did you have an overall tempo that you wanted to carry through all the matches? I, I definitely have a very slow tempo. I play openings. So like okay. in that situation, I knew that I had to push down in the last game to a certain point and just try to hold off and try to get as much possible until everybody else around me was white. So yeah. Definitely think you're going to be taking a pretty high one. We're going to see that score in just oh, a second. Best of luck to you now that it is said and done. Thank you, man. Really impressive to get to watch you play. You, Congratulations, man. That was Aladdin. Let's hear it for him, everyone in Atlanta and everyone at home. Be sure to show him your love as well. And take a look at the overall results for the solo finals here at the H1Z1 Elite Series at DreamHack. Sweet dreams, taking down first place, $25,000 plus a couple bounties. We have some trophies for them as well. This one's a big one. I'm pretty sure this goes to first place. I'm thinking that one's probably going to gonna fall to sweet here. Put down that microphone. You need to hoist this trophy up right now for the audience here in Atlanta. Congratulations to you taking the king's share of that prize money. And then we also do have these trophies for second and third place. This one is going to be for second. This one is going to be for third. Brox, it is an honor to hand you man. that trophy, my man. Congratulations. Great play. Aladdin, you as well. All three of you hold that up. Show Give it these up people for them one more there. time. Let's hear it, Atlanta, for your top three.
Overall, I mean, I enjoyed the experience of the event. Obviously, it had its ups and downs. Uh, obviously, I don't think we performed as well as we could have, but uh, it was a good time. It was definitely, it's only my second experience playing H1Z1 on land, so it was fun. Uh, I learned a lot, but definitely things that I want to improve on, things I think we did all right, but there's also a lot of things that we could have done better. Um, we could have used more communication. We could have been a little bit more cohesive. We could have trusted our calls that were that were actually used in the tournament, and we just didn't do that. We fell apart to some degree. Do you feel you got a deserving placing? I do because I don't think we performed as, as well as we could have. We have played many, many scrims, and we've placed very, very well over the last month or two months almost, and it, we could have we could have definitely done better. In team fives, I think the uh, event went pretty poorly. Uh, I think we could have played a lot better than what we did play. Um, during game one, I made a call to stack on me. And during that event, um, pretty much people didn't hear me and we ended up losing a couple players very, very, very early, um, which costed us the game pretty much. And then going into game two, uh, our calls were good, but we lacked trust in each other. And during going into end game, that lack of trust since we were such a new team pretty much costed us that game as well. Going back to how we played, I think I think we played a little too scared at points. Um, and I think a big thing that came down to us, um, what we could have done better, and what uh, what really led to us um, not placing as well as we did was the fact that we weren't confident with each other. We didn't trust each other enough, uh, and that led us to um, basically play like scared, and we weren't uh, we weren't prepared to work as a team as much as I think that we should have been. Um, what really surprised us the most was the fact that recently the safe zones changed. It was a very dynamic safe zone change that really kind of caught us off guard. There's no way, there's, there's a small way of reading it, but then there's a total different randomity that, that it causes. And so you have so many teams trying to push into the middle or trying to push to the sides and just barely moving up with the safe zone. And it just causes so much chaos. There's no, there is to some degree a, an ability to read it, but it makes it very difficult. For how much we were prepared, I think I definitely think we should have placed better. However, uh, I also thought there are a lot of other teams that didn't even place as well as us that were also uh, pretty deserving of higher placements. We, like I said, we needed to work on our communication more. We're a lot new of a team compared to the other teams. We scrapped together kind of at the last minute, but I definitely think we we could have placed better. I think we performed pretty well in the scrimmages that we've done before, but uh, still lots of things to work on. But I'm not totally upset with where we ended off. Uh, what was going through my mind is I had just killed CLG's um, Grimmy Bear and I was on the outside of the safe zone. I tried to play it as best as I possibly could. I, I, we both shot each other, we both traded helmets several times. I got a helmet body armor on him and I attempted because I was being pushed by gas to flash him and I, I just chose the wrong side of the tree. And in that situation, it I got myself killed. If I had to define dare to achieve, I would define as dare to achieve greatness. Pretty much I want to be the best of my ability, I want to perform at the top levels, perform with my team, and pretty much be the best. Is there anything else you'd like to add in? Um, I would really like to thank Dare for allowing me to get here. They've, they put me into position to um, just even arrive and, and a place in solos. And regardless of the fact that we didn't qualify in fives, I, I feel very hopeful for our future. And I just really, really wanted to kill Ninja. He would have killed me multiple <laughs> times had I been there in the solos from the very first game. It is true. It is true. You did it? Nice! second episode of Dare to Live. We had an awesome time at this event this weekend at Dream Hack Atlanta. Even though we didn't turn out how we wanted to with the team, we still are going to grow from this. This is only the beginning. A lot of great dudes with this team and H1Z1. And we had a blast overall. Hope you guys did enjoy. This has been your boy Tanzer and we'll catch you guys in the next Dare to Live. Peace.